hello everyone welcome to another video in this video i will tell you how in a word document you can create a table and that table spans multiple pages and you want to repeat the header of the table in multiple pages right so let us see how we can do that let us first uh, download a document template where i want to put some dynamic content so let's say this is my contact entity contact record here i want to download a word template and i want to choose entity contact okay and one more relationship called as loan okay so i want two entities and click download so that it will download the word template for editing i can choose desktop and give a name as contact uh, document with loan okay now once it is saved you can open it so what i want i want to intentionally edit this word template so that it will generate multiple page let me write down something here i want to put the customer name so i can go to develop for xml mapping and choose the contact information here and from contact i want to take the contact first name and then text so dear customer name this is your own detail information okay now here i want to put some random text let me copy some random text okay uh dummy dummy doesn't matter i just want to intentionally create the word template uh, uh, with uh, more than uh, one liner okay let me copy again Let me recopy this again. Okay. Now I am at the end of this uh, page. Now here I want to add a table. Let's say loans. And I want to add a table here. Now let me use three column. And in the first column, I want to display amount, loan amount, and uh, tenure. And uh apply date okay i want to make it as uh, bold this will be the header and here in the next row it will represent the data so in amount it should uh, display the loan amount loan is one is to one relation so open the loan and uh, add the amount first plain text tenure also i want to put the tenure tenure in months plain text apply date i can use created on this will be plain text and select the data row and click on this uh, right click the uh, child entity and use a repeating feature so that it will keep repeating as per the number of loans taken by the customer now once it will create six rows dynamically the table will span to the next page so in the next page also what i want i want this header should be enabled in the table normally uh, if you do not enable the picture it will display three columns uh, three columns with data in the next uh, page but the header will not display if in every page that the table spans if you want to display header you have to enable a feature so select the uh, header row and go to layout and click on this repeat header row so that whenever this table will span with multiple pages the header row will be repeating now save it and upload this in the uh, 
Dataverse or Power Apps. So click on Word template and upload it. Choose the file. So this is the file we have. And upload. Now once it is uploaded, I can uh, generate the Word document. So click on the Word document template and click on this contact document with loan. If you click on this, it will ask you to download the template. Let me store it in the desktop and open it to see what happens. Now it should open with the dynamic content. Click on enable editing. You see here dynamically the uh, customer name is replaced here with all other information. But let me check the table. That was the motto of this uh, tutorial. You see guys. The table contains amount, tenure, and apply date. And this this customer has six loans. Now one, two, three, four, five, six. But in next page also, the header is repeating, right? So if you have long table which spans multiple pages, it is best practice to show the header repeatingly so that it will not be a confusion. I hope you understand how it works. Okay, this is a very important use case in projects. Thank you everyone. See you next time. Bye.